And let me get get the times down here. Okay, it works. And you're listening to Viewpoint on WDLE, and with us we have the Mayor of Dunkirk, A.J. Doltz, and also from the Development Department at City Hall, Tim Gornikevich. And welcome to the program. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Now, we're not talking politics today on Viewpoint. We're talking about uh, some very important events coming to the city's waterfront, and uh, the Rock and Roll Festival is coming up in just a few days, and we want to tell folks about what is happening. And uh, give us kind of the rundown. It, it kicks off Friday afternoon, Tim. Yeah, I, I guess I would say it kicks off maybe Thursday. Um, oh, really? On well, Thursday. Music on a Pier starts Thursday. Um, we're sort of billing it as a whole weekend. Um, we have a, a jersey, it's a Bruce Springsteen tribute Thursday, which is probably our most popular band the last few years. Um, they've been there since, I believe, this is your fourth year playing here. Mm -hmm. um, probably the most popular band we have. Um, so we're sort of tying that in with our Rock and Roll weekend. Um, and that Friday actually kicks off, I guess, our f official Rock and Roll uh, weekend. Um, we got... And you really have something for just about everyone, right? We, we do. We have uh, hold races, which are extremely popular. Um, that goes on at 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock. We get about uh, six, seven fire companies from the area, Dunkirk, East Dunkirk, West Dunkirk, uh, Sunset Bay, Fredonia, I might be missing a few. Um, that goes down from six to eight, um, extremely popular, kids love it. Um, and then we got actually music later on at night on the pier, um, DTO, they're a local band who has, uh, very popular. Mm -hmm. You say they've yeah. built up a following? Yeah, they have. Uh, a couple of local guys. Um, I think the mayor follows him. He, <laughs> yes, he does. I do, I do yes. Um, John Muck, actually a local uh, Dunker um, resident, he's actually on the band and got talking to them and they're extremely excited about playing. So really a great opportunity for people to to enjoy some music, the festivities, and you also have a fireboat coming, right? We do. We have the uh, Edward M. Cotter fireboat. Um, I believe it's the oldest fireboat, um, still active boat in the country. Uh, I think it goes back to the early 1900s. Um, they came around the last two years. Um, they love it here. They send about six, seven of their uh, Buffalo fire um, firemen come down. Um, and actually this year, uh, Charles Smith, local resident, um, his wife actually donated the fireboat to come down for us. Mm -hmm. um, we weren't sure if we were going to have it, but she. Um, so it's in memory. Yeah, it's in memory of him. Yes, which is you know very excited about that. I mean, it's uh, so they have a good time. You know, a lot of kids. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a cool looking boat. If you, have, you know, if you're there, go check it out. Um, it's pretty impressive, especially being as old as it is. Now, I know we're going to run down more of the events, but I, uh, Mayor, uh, how important is having activity like rock and roll, music on the pier, to the city of Dunkirk, and, and to getting folks down to the waterfront? Well, no doubt it's extremely important, as we've seen over the past few years, the amount of people that come out, not only from Dunkirk, but the surrounding communities, um, and support the festivals. The community looks forward to these festivals every year, which we, you know, have witnessed by the strong turnouts. Um, you know, we do what we can to promote the waterfront, and these festivals do just that. So it's a great opportunity for people to come out, enjoy the waterfront, enjoy entertainment. Tim as, as we've talked, sorry to interrupt, but as we've talked, there's something for everybody. You know, it's, there's just not one or two the things we focus family. most mm -hmm. definitely. So we want everyone to come out. Uh, uh, the Music on the Pier Thursday evening, the, the kickoff. We've talked about some of the events on Friday. Saturday really is kind of the big day, yeah, right, Tim? Saturday is our, our main day. Um, I mean, it starts 2 o'clock with uh, another popular event, the, whole, the um, Build Your Own Boat Race. Um, we get many creative people, a lot more creative than me, that you know, build boats and... Uh, <laughs> You know, they, they'll dress up, we usually have a theme for it. Um, this year's uh, Pirates of Chadwick Bay, sort of on the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and we've gotten a lot of interested people that are going to be, I'm sure, dressed like pirates. Um, <laughs> Councilwoman Stacey Cow is going to sort of um, head it. She's going to uh, sort of be in charge of it. 
You know, so is she building a boat? I don't know if she's building a boat, but she'll be um, <laughs> she'll be running it. You know, make sure okay. everything's going smooth. Um, and she's dressed appropriately. And dressed. Right she's got right a here. pirate costume. <laughs> so that's. I mean, you get a lot of groups. See the hospitals. They always go all out. They they made a boat hold up ten people one year. So um, that's hopefully the weather, which knock on wood or now looks like it's gonna be nice. Um, hopefully the water is not too cold. <laughs> now, now, are there actually some? Uh, parameters and which people should follow when they enter this contest? The only rules that we have is it can't be a real boat um, or a motor attached to it. I mean, if you want to build it out of barrels or, you know, anything really. Any uh, materials? We, we've evolved before. We used to have kits. Um, I believe 84 Lumber had kits. They could build it. And we sort of evolved where people wanted to build their own. And we just let them do out of whatever they want. Um, and people are said people are very creative on it. And it's got to float, though. Yeah, it's got to float, but not not all do though. There's some that sink right away. <laughs> so that's one of the uh, the activities which draws a lot of people. There's also food and refreshments. There's right? food. Um, we have, uh, I would say, I think about ten chicken wing vendors from all over uh, the area, um, as far as Casadega, Buffalo. Um, mostly local, but we get, you know, outside the area, um, chicken wings are sold all day long, um, these people, these places, they, they like it, I mean, they make a little cash, but I think they have a lot of fun, and they can promote their, promote their wings, um, and, and I bet a lot of people coming have a lot of fun too, enjoying oh yeah, those wings, right? I, I think it was last year, year before, I think we went through almost 30,000 wings sold between wow. all of them, um, so it's a, yeah, I, I mean, bet the cardiologists like the business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, uh, um, it's now, a good event. AJ, uh, so. you know, and again, this gets uh, businesses, helps out uh, area businesses, too. Most definitely. I mean, we have, like Tim just mentioned, 10 and just wings. There will also be some other uh, vendors down there on top of all the businesses at the boardwalk. So there's a lot going on in on that pier this mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. Now there's some celebrities coming, some uh, members of the Buffalo Bills, two key players. We do, we have Fred Jackson um, and Brian Mormon of the Bills who probably, Fred's probably the best player on the team, I mean probably no doubt about it. Um, Brian's been there for a dozen years or so. Um, it's nice to, you know, it's nice to get that that local sports celebrity down here, you know, it, I think it draws a lot of people from outside the area who are, you know, looking to meet him. Um, I mean, we had a Pat LaFontaine last year, which was huge. Yeah, I mean, that was he, phenomenal. He drew unbelievably. Um, we wish we still had him on. It'd be nice to get him back. He's tough. He, he don't live around here. He was actually in, I think, Long Island. Yeah. Um, but Fred and Brian uh, are coming down, and they're going to sign autographs and just mingle with the crowd. Um, and I know Fred is excited about uh, the Bills season this yeah, year. Yeah, I, I think. A very promising year, we hope. Yeah. Although I know uh, the mayor's uh, team uh, oh, might not. have something else to say about the AFC. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. But, yeah, thank you. But we hope people come out uh, to see Fred Jackson, Brian Mormon. I know one of our personalities mm -hmm. on our F side, yep. FM side is going to be there as well. Yeah, Mark James will be as well. Um, he, he's been there the last few years. Uh, 96, 96 kicks. Six kicks will be there from 1 to 3. Um, hopefully... People listen, come on down. Um, they'll be there during the the boat race, um, and just get people down here. You know, it's the you know the plan is to get people down here, spend some money, help the local business in the area out, um, and they have a good, enjoyable time. They have a good time, you know, it, with the family type mm -hmm. of thing. You know, there's a little bit for everyone. Now, there's live music uh, later in the afternoon, right through the evening. Tell us about what people can see. We have uh, three bands going on, starting at 2 and pretty much all the way until 10, 10.30. Um, first band, uh, Beggar's Best. Um, they are a... They have one local... Um, I think he's a drummer. Um, he actually works in Dunkirk. Um, but they play a lot of Buffalo um, area. They're not too well known here. and. I think they want to get their name out here in, in the Dunker crowd, you know, area. Um, they play a lot of original music, um, with, with some covered, but they're, they played some big venues. They played at Canal Fest up in Tonawanda. They played at a lot of, um, 
you know, festival type events like, like Rock and Roll, but in the Buffalo area. Um, and I know they have a really big following up in the Buffalo area. Um, they're definitely excited about it coming down as well. So that's Beggar's Best. <coughs> Beggar's Best. And then you have uh, another band uh, following Beggar's Best. Tell us about those. Recess. They're a very unique band. Um, they're from the Cleveland, Ohio area. Um, they are a kids band. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be confused with a kids band. They, they have been on lead story on Yahoo, they've been all over, you know, newspapers in the Northeast, you know, talk about them, radio stations have talked about them. Uh, the lead singer is 12 years old. Oh, really? Right. Um, lead singer is 12 years old, the rest of the, the band are between 12 and I think 16. Um, but they are, they're not your, what you, what people might think a, a kid's band. I mean, the lead singer is... He's talented. He's good. Yeah, I mean, I would check them out, um, you know, YouTube, check out, check them out. They're, they're talented. They've been playing for, I think, Four years, uh, I said he's been featured on on a lot of media outlets that are you know not just you know Cleveland local um, stations. They've been featured on a lot of. Um, so it sounds like a lot yeah. of folks really should check this out. I, yeah, I mean check them on YouTube. They're they're good. And that this will be a great lead-in to a big tribute uh, later in the evening we, to Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi, we. Um, you know, there's there's a few bands I think that can really draw well. You know, there's a few. You know, a Rolling Stone band, the Springsteen band will draw. You know, Bon Jovi's one I think that people have uh, became excited about Bon Jovi. I told them you know they're coming down. They're also from the Cleveland area. Um, they are, and they don't. They sound like them, but they also look like them. They act like them when they're on the stage. You know, they're very. Very, very entertaining. Some of these tribute bands are actually better than you know, the originals in many cases. And a lot cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. They're in our budget. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it should be a great uh, opportunity mm -hmm. for people to enjoy the, the music, to also enjoy the waterfront. Now, Mayor, how can people get more information about uh, what is happening with rock and roll and Dunkirk Summer on the Lake? Of course, we always like to promote our websites, and the website for this one is www.visitdunkirk.com. Uh, and any questions as far as, it's probably late, you know, vendor-wise in that, but the development department has been doing an excellent job lining up the music on the pier concerts, the rock and roll, and then of course uh, later in August, or early August, excuse me, we'll have the Beach Bash. Um, so I just wanted to give my compliments to the development department that have been working uh, extremely hard to put on these enjoyable events. And there really, there is a lot of work. Uh, this has taken literally the past year. Once you get done with one season, you're working on the next. Yeah, we, we probably start booking bands and I think this year we started in December, booking some bands. Um, you know, that's the hard part is a lot, lot of the, a lot of them are, they get booked early so we got to book them earlier to make sure they're, you know, able to work. One good thing about, on Thursdays it's nice because a lot of bands don't book Thursdays so that they're a lot of times easier to book, find them on Thursdays. Um, so, you know, it, it, this is a six, seven, eight month process just for, you know, these events. And I also want to say our, our Facebook page as well has been um, huge. We have almost 4,000 followers. Um, we're trying to get a little more interactive with the, the followers on there. We're having contests, um, meet the bands, win some prizes, you know, um, ah. sort of a fan of the fan of the week. So check out... Check out Ducker, yeah, it's Ducker Festivals. It's the Facebook page. Um, yeah, we're, except we're having some trivia questions. The you know, winner gets to meet the band, take a picture, get a hat, get you know, some prizes, so um, that's the cool this year we added. Um. Well, I'm starting to wrap up our Viewpoint program today. Maybe we'll close with some words of wisdom from Mayor A.J. Daltz inviting folks out to rock and roll. Most definitely. You know, um, we can't encourage the public enough um, to come on down. And like Tim said, the weather's supposed to be great. Um, you know, we, we really love to see you out starting Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. And of course, you know, these, these musics or these uh, concerts are free. You know, it's, and we're, we're thrilled about that. And autograph session, tons of music, 
my personal favorite, chicken wings. Uh, <laughs> um, and like I said, we'd love to see you down there. Well, AJ and Tim, thanks for joining us on Viewpoint. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. Okay. Nice.